Hi, welcome to Fretz Enterprises, a successful, fully family-owned operation since 1946. My name's Don. I'm one of the RV sales consultants here. Fretz has been in business, as I mentioned, since 1946. I myself have been their customer for over 18 years, and, in a, and, and I'm an avid RVer myself. They've won the best dealership in Pennsylvania two years running now from Dealer Raider, which is an association that rates the various RV dealerships throughout the country. We're here today to show you one of our exciting new products. It's a new full wall slide model of a Renegade RV B Plus coach on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It's an awesome coach with extremely well built structure and a lot of amenities not found on other coaches throughout the marketplace. What we'll start with is a little walk around, but before I do that, I'd like to also mention that Fretz RV is conveniently located between Philadelphia and Allentown, Pennsylvania. We're within easy reach of Boston, New York, Philadelphia, obviously, Baltimore, and Washington. We have customers throughout New England and the Mid-Atlantic states. So let's take a brief walk around this new coach and let me show you some of the key differentiators that I find very interesting and not found on other brands. One of the first things you'll notice about this coach is the new full wall slide floor plan that this coach comes in. The outside has five paint layers. It has three main colors and then two clear coat layers for durability and resistance to scratching and denting and so forth. As we walk down this way, one of the main features of the Vienna, as you'll see, is dual pane thermal windows. That's a standard feature on this coach. You have easy access to all the storage bins and all your, uh, your uh, hoses and so forth for uh, hooking up at a campground. Another unique feature is a utility bay. This is a heated compartment, so if you're in cold weather, this remains very viable. You don't have freeze up on your various dumping valves for the gray and black tanks. Also standard are heat pads on the gray and black tanks for colder weather camping. That's not found everywhere. You also have a black tank flush system. So after you're done dumping the black tank, you utilize that to clean out any of the residue when you're done dumping the black tank. The Vienna has all LED lighting, inside and out, for long life and high efficiency. Okay. Also, you get a standard generator with the Vienna. In this particular case, we have the diesel generator, which is an option. The standard option is actually a propane generator. In either case, you'll get full uh, 30 amp power to the coach so you can run everything inside, including the air conditioning and the convection microwave. The Vienna also comes standard with an on-demand tankless water heater so that when you're at a campground, you will never run out of hot water. Looking more closely at the storage compartments, you'll see that they're not fiberboard, they're not some composite material, they're solid aluminum enclosures with 0.09 gauge aluminum. <clears throat> Anti-skid wraps come standard as well, and they're easily removed for cleaning. The big thing about the storage compartments is actually the fact that they're Class A style side open slam latch doors. Being an RVer myself, one thing I hate doing is getting on my knees to see what's inside my storage bins. In this case, all I need to do is bend over and I can see exactly what's inside.
Now, being a, a Penn State grad, I'm obviously a big football fan. I love tailgating after the big game to see who else is playing in the Big Ten that day and how are they doing. When you're tailgating, it'd be really cool to have something that you can keep up on the other teams with. And right here, another standard feature of the Vienna is an outdoor entertainment center, complete with entertainment uh, control and DVD player so that you won't miss anything when you're out camping relaxing with a beer under the awning after the big game. And speaking of the awning that you're sitting underneath after the big game, these coaches come with a standard Carefree of Colorado awning. It's one of the best made in the industry. It has built-in LED patio lights and also there's a built-in sensor so that if it, the wind exceeds a certain amount, it'll automatically close itself. So you can avoid any damage to your power mechanism on the awning itself. So now let's take a little bit of a look inside and let me show you some key differentiators with the Vienna from Renegade Corporation. Right down here at the step, you can see that it comes with an automatic four-point single button leveling system not just stabilizers that come down when you're camping this is a very valuable asset of this particular coach because not only does it stabilize it but it levels it so you can avoid driving up and down on blocks trying to get your coach level your main battery switch is located down here as well as a defeat button for the steps so that while you're camping you can leave them out and not have to wait for them to come out automatically and end up doing a face plant on the, on the patio. <laughs> Here is the main control center. As I mentioned, this particular coach has the diesel generator and this is the main control for that. That will provide you with the full 30 amp service you need to run everything inside here. You have overhead stage lights, which by the way, before I go any further, this is all solid hardwood cabinetry. You won't find fiberboard, you won't find plywood in here anywhere. Inside here, this button is your overhead stage lights. What this coach also comes standard with is a 100 watt solar panel and a 1200 watt inverter so that you can actually run things such as this TV you know, just off your batteries. Moving on, we have the patio awning lights, the LEDs that I mentioned earlier. There's also an LED porch light. Your slide room controls are here for in and out. Your awning controls are here. And then once you have the slide in and the awning in, there's an override switch that you would turn off for transit. <clears throat> Generator e-start will start that, will allow you to essentially use that generator to, um, if you're having problems starting up your engine in the chassis. Up here, the water heater, because it is a tankless on-demand system, runs off your propane tank. Here is the standard heating pads for your black and gray tanks. You also have outside stage lights. Those are the lights inside all of your storage bins. And of course you have a water pump if you're dry camping and you need to have the water come up out of your freshwater tank. All your different levels are available here. Your LP, your battery level, and then your three tank levels. This particular floor plan, as I mentioned, is a full wall slide. Part of this is this U-shaped dinette where you can comfortably sit, you know, six or eight people so that you're all at the same table for dining. In the galley area, Renegade uses only high level appliances and faucets. 
and their coaches. Have you ever been in an RV where the sink is so shallow it's like next to useless? Not the case in this coach. It's a very deep stainless sink where you can actually wash things without splashing all over the, the kitchen. You also have a two burner stove top that runs on propane. There is an option, which is not on this particular coach, to get a single burner induction heat top. We have nice LED highlighting and then overhead lamps so that you can essentially see what you're doing here while you're preparing your meal. These also come standard with a convection microwave and a three-way refrigerator freezer that runs on AC, propane, or off-the-coach batteries. Back here is your large queen-size bed, very comfortable, very high-end mattress that Renegade uses in all of their coaches. Here is your wardrobe with a convenient pull-out section for your hanging items so that you don't have to keep reaching way back in because it's very deep, as you can see. And of course, drawers for storing your folded goods and whatnot. To the right of the refrigerator freezer, we have a very nice pantry. The slides out for putting your boxes and canned goods and etc. And then down below, if you have some real heavy stuff, you can stick it in the compartment below the actual uh, pantry slide. The bath is set up so that if someone wants to brush their teeth or shave while the other is in here either going to the bathroom or showering, you have a beautiful vessel sink. By the way, that's pretty cool. You don't have to bend way over to brush your teeth when you're in here trying to do so. In here, we have a Dometic porcelain toilet and a fairly large shower compartment. That's also very attractive, by the way, with the nickel finish uh, faucet handles and etc. You also have a TV for the bedroom and you have a central control for air conditioning and furnace and so forth. The air conditioner is 15,000 BTU and it also has an incorporated heat pump. If it's just a chilly day, just run the heat pump. You don't have to turn the furnace on. Over here, comes standard with a fantastic fan, which acts as the same as a whole house fan in, in, a, in, a, in a house or wood structure. <clears throat> Throughout the coach, you'll find outlets and then also USB ports for charging up your cell phones. The TV in the main living area is also a high-end smart TV, so you can do streaming and you can, you know, uh, uh, mate your cell phone to it and etc. It's a uh, very versatile and beautiful picture on it. The cockpit, what's new for 2019, Renegade has switched to the Garmin Infotainment Center, which is preloaded with an RV specific navigation system. That allows you to not be too worried when you're trying to plan a route if you accidentally run into a hazmat route that you don't want to be on if you're carrying propane. It has a DVD player inside and it has USB port connections up here in the cab, Bluetooth connectivity, and it's just a, a, a really, really beautiful infotainment center because, and especially with that GPS package, that's worth its weight in gold. I know personally because I almost went through Fort McHenry Tunnel with my coach carrying propane and uh, 
did not make it very far. The Sprinter chassis is probably one of the most prolific chassis out on the market. I mean, people, even other than the RV industry, use this chassis, such as UPS. It's high efficiency. It's got tons of torque. It's a turbo diesel, 3 liter V6, and uh, it'll handle mountain roads like a champ. Also, it's very uh, frugal when it comes to fuel uh, expenditure because it gets 16 to 18 miles to the gallon on the road, which for a motorhome is pretty spectacular. I get eight downhill with a tailwind, if I'm lucky. <laughs> also standard is a rear view camera and left and right color side view cameras so that you never end up with any blind spots when you're trying to come out into a passing lane or, or something of that sort. So um, that's all standard with this particular chassis. The front seats, both the driver and passenger seats, fully rotate around so that you can have folks sitting here. You can have folks sitting in these front seats. And if the angle isn't right on the television, you simply pull it out and change the angle for better viewing if you're just using the front seats. Again, not to be redundant, but one of the cool features about this coach is its structure. I'm a retired manufacturing test and inspection engineer from a major multinational electronics company. And the first things I always hone in on a product is how it's built and what kind of quality control processes they implement. And I can tell you that Renegade exceeds in all those areas beyond my expectations. The cage that this is built around is the heaviest gauge aluminum caging in the industry. This thing is built like a brick and it will last for many, many years. One last thing I'd like to point out to differentiate Renegade from other manufacturers is the fact that they are certified green. I have customers with severe allergies. If they walk into a coach that has any level of formaldehyde, they clam up and they exit immediately and they'll never buy one like that because they're allergic to it. The other thing is the sidewalls. There's no Luon in this coach. If you know what Luon is, it's a wood-based product used for stiffening sidewalls. It's a, it's a wood product, so therefore it's susceptible to water intrusion and therefore can cause delamination. On the outside walls and also on the inside walls and the roof and the flooring, Renegade utilizes a composite product called Asdel, which is not water soluble. It is more flexible, it is stiffer, and you don't need to worry about water intrusion. Again, my name's Don, and I'd love a chance to meet you. Please stop by Fritz. Like I said, we're currently located in Bethlehem in Allentown. We're located on Bethlehem Pike in Souderton, Pennsylvania.